Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm going to be bringing you guys a massive video. Now this is probably going to be going up at it is 7:30 right now. This is probably going to be going up at uh, quite a late time, probably about 10 o'clock. And I wanted to get this video out for you guys today instead of uploading it tomorrow because this is massive news. The FIFA 17 five-star skill has been announced, and there are 36 five-star skillers. There are bronze five-star skillers which we didn't have on FIFA 16. There are loads of new skillers in the BPL. There are nearly kind of like. I think there are nearly 10 5-star skillers now in the Premier League. There's a ton of 5-star skillers in loads of other leagues. There's a brand new player with 5-star skills and 5-star weak foot. There's some crazy players, some very high rated ones as well. So without further ado, let's go on into the video. So the first 5-star skill is going to be Alan Zinio. He had 5-star skills back on FIFA 16, I believe. And also the reason I'm looking over here is because I have it on my screen there. I'm not recording this live. That doesn't make sense. But yeah, uh, he had 5-star skills on FIFA 15. Wasn't on FIFA 16. But there we go, a new 5-star skiller. Then have Arroyo, 5-star skills on FIFA 16 and 15. Uh, he's a very, very good silver player. I have used him previously on this game. He is a really good player. I would recommend trying him out if you haven't already. Then have Ben Arthur. Obviously, he is going to have 5-star skills. Because we saw that in the trailer. And he's had 5-star skills on the previous FIFAs as well. Very, very skillful player. Does do a lot of skills in real life as well. We then have Balassi, another player. Does a lot of skills in real life. You would expect him to have 5-star skill moves. 78 rated as well. He's got good pace. Good dribbling as well. Not very good shooting or passing though. But he does have 5-star skills. 4-star weak foot. Uh, looks pretty good there. I really did like using him on FIFA 16. So hopefully he will be good next year as well. Then have Buffal. 80 rated left winger right there. He has got 5-star skills and 4-star weak foot. Looks very, very good. He's got great pace. Great dribbling. Good shooting. Good passing. Should be a great player in the Premier League uh, on FIFA 17. Then we do go on to have Botaka. 5-star uh, skiller was on FIFA uh, 15. And 16, I believe, and he was actually at Leeds, but now he has transferred to Charlton. non rest silver, five-star skiller. There are actually quite a few non rest silver skillers on this game, but so uh, yeah, there we do have Carrillo as the next skiller. Very, very good player. He's been one of my favourite players to use as a skiller on FIFA 16 so far. So on FIFA 17, should be a great player, and he is also in the uh, same league as he was previously, I think, but now he does play for Benfica. We then have Douglas Costa, great skiller there. I mean, he looks so good. 84 rated overall, great pace. He does a lot of skills in real life. He does do rainbow flicks and stuff in real life. Then we've got Juan Cuadrado. Keeping his 5 star skill moves like you'd expect. A very skillful player. And uh, yeah, 82 rated looks pretty good there. We then have D'Alessandro. 79 rated. He's had a massive downgrade to his pace. Does have 5 star skills. Then we've got Di Maria. 87 rated. 5 star skill moves. He looks insane. Uh, I don't think he's had uh, 5 star skill moves before on FIFA. But seriously, 87 rated. 5 star skill moves. He looks so good. Then we have El Sharawe, another 5-star skiller who is brand new. 87 pace, 84 dribbling, 5-star skills, 4-star weak foot. He looks insane and uh, pretty similar to back when he had 5-star skills, I think, on like FIFA 12. He was used a lot back then and he's going to be used a lot this year as well. We then have El Yanusi, 5-star skills, 4-star weak foot, playing for FC Basel. Going to get a strong link, I believe, to Dumbia. And yeah, he has 5-star skills on FIFA 16 as well. He's actually got a twin brother who plays in the Bundesliga too, who I think have got 4-star skills. Um, but uh, I'm not too sure on that. Then I have another 5-star skiller in the Serie A. That is Fernandez. Actually transferred to uh, AC Milan here, which is pretty cool. Got a pretty good card. Looks like a decent player. We then have Flores. Edison Flores right here. Bit of a weird card. 64 rated. No, 63 rated, sorry. And he's only got 69 pace, which for a winger is a bit weird. Especially a skiller, because skillers are generally quite quick. They do a lot of skills and have a lot of pace generally. But uh, yeah, 5-star skill moves. Looks like a bit of an interesting card. Then we've got Giuliano. Uh, he's got a great card. Being upgraded, uh, he'll be a great centre forward on FIFA 17. He, he had 5-star skills this year, um, but he does look even better on FIFA 17. Can't wait to use him. Then we've got El Senio, and it's such a pity he's not a central player. I think he's in the MLS, so the first 5-star skill in the MLS. But he's a right mid. He's got such well-rounded stats. He'd be a great centre mid, but, but he's just not really got the pace really to be uh, a right mid. But uh, maybe if you've got an inform or something in the middle, that would be great. Then we've got uh, Ricardo Kishner, a great skiller. There's a lot of skills in real life. He used to play for, I think, um, Ajax or PSV. Probably some of my Dutch fans are going to get offended by that because uh, I think they're quite big rivals. But, yeah, new 5-star skiller. No, actually, not a new 5-star skiller. He's always had 5-star skills, I think. But um, it looks like a great card. He's been upgraded a bit, I think, in pace. Then we've got Riyad Mahrez, 85 rated. That looks insane. A very, very nice card there. Then we've got Mart uh, Martinez right here. Fidel Martinez gone up to a 74 rating. 5-star skill moves right there. Then we've got Hachim Mastor, a very good player on career mode. I've used him a lot on career mode this year. 64 rated, no, 68 rated, sorry. 
I uh, can't read numbers today, but uh, yeah, first let's go move to playing for PC's Wally there in the Eredivisie League in um, Holland. Pretty good player right there. He's still got good pace and good dribbling, even though he's a low-rated silver skiller. He's only got 16 defending, which I think is probably the lowest on the whole game. Then we've got Maxim, 5-star skills. He always says 5-star skills on FIFA, um, the uh, Romanian player right there. Then we've got Magidi. I think he's actually transferred, though, to a team in the lower divisions of England, but uh, he won't be in the Premier League. But there we go, 5-star skill moves right there. I think he's had a bit of a downgrade as well, but uh, he never really played too much for Everton. I think he went on loan to Sheffield Wednesday for a bit as well and didn't do too much for them. But uh, there we go, 5-star skills for him. Then we've got Musonda. This guy looks insane. Five-star skills, five-star week for 88 pace, 83 dribbling. He's on loan from Chelsea at Real Better, so he is in the league of BBVA. Going to be the cheap name on next year. And he's gone from a bronze three-star skiller to a 77-rated left winger now, which looks crazy. He's seriously going to be so good next year. Then we've got Nani, another five-star skiller. I mean, he's just someone you expect to have a five-star skill. He has it every single year. And, uh, yeah, he has got some very nice stats. He was, he's probably going to be the cheap Ronaldo. And um, uh, I think it's Masonda, the uh, the name of the Belgian guy, is going to be the cheap Neymar. And there is Neymar as well, five star skills, as you'd, as you'd expect. Then we've got Nathan Adua playing for Spurs, a bronze five star skill in the Premier League, which is awesome. Five star skill moves right there, good pace, good dribbling, six foot tall as well. And I think he did a rainbow flick actually, playing for Rangers. And um, uh, I think it got into like a massive fight because I, they got offended. Then we've got the legends that you'd expect to have five star skill moves in. We've got Pogba, and um, yeah, Pogba you will have probably seen already. He did have his rating released a couple of days ago. Five-star skill moves look absolutely insane. They've got Quaresma, very, very good card right there. He's had a nice upgrade to 83, the same as Nani after having a pretty good Euros. Looks very, very good right there. Then we've got Rakale in the, uh, I think, South African League there for Orlando Pirates. Um, got uh, an interesting card. You could probably link him up to some other players in that league. There are some decent players there. Then we've got Ribery right here, 86 rated. Um, 90 dribbling looks very good. Then we've got Ronaldo, five star skills, 94 rated looks insane. Um, as you'd expect, really from Ronaldo, um, and as you'd expect, he does obviously have the five star skill, which he has every single year. I don't think he's ever not had five star skills. Then we actually have Thiago. Now this is a great new upgrade right here. 84 rated, five star skill moves, very very nice card. And uh, yeah, now three five star skills play for Bayern Munich. And I think there are in total four now in the Bundesliga. So. Uh, yeah, I'll probably be doing maybe a Bayern Munich career mode or something because with f uh, three, four, three five star skillers, that should be pretty good. And then we do have the final five star skiller out of the 36 on the new game, and that is Val Unweva, I think. But so uh, there, there we go. Those are all of the five star skillers. It's actually taken me so long to record this video, guys, because uh, my screen recorder kept crashing and it wouldn't work. So. Uh, yeah, it's taken a while to make this video, but I hope you guys have enjoyed. Comment down below which 5 star skiller you are looking forward to the most on FIFA 17. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.